Hi everyone, Ashes here, and this is the highlight video of one of my Twitch streams. During that stream I was playing Tomb Raider 10th Anniversary Edition. This is the game that was made by Core Design in 2006. It was later cancelled and thought forever lost. But whatever is lost is just meant to be found. About a year ago, one of the ex-Core Design employees sent me the files from this cancelled game. On 31st of December, I decided that, you know, 2020 was kind of shitty year for all of us, and it would be nice to have a final Tomb Raider present in the shape of Tomb Raider 10th Anniversary Edition. So these files were published on archive.org, a DMCA exempt website. It hasn't been even two days, and Ghostblade managed to make it playable. Uh, so you can now play the game. If you go to tre.tumbofage.com, you can find all the details you need and all the necessary information you need. In this very video, you will be able to see the tutorial how to actually make it playable in case you're not very really technical and can't follow the README instructions. If you're already playing the game though, keep watching because we have a special surprise for you. We asked Shelly Blonde, the original voice of Lara Croft, to read us some lines that Lara is reading to herself in the first level caves. And so, without further ado, I hope you enjoy this um, highlight video that was edited by Taranate in a very short time. Thank you, Taranate, by the way. <sighs> right. First of all, we're going to start off with um, what the fuck is this thing all about, for those of you who don't know. Tomb Raider Anniversary Edition is the game, one of the final games by Core Design. Uh, it was supposed to be released after Tomb Raider Legend, and it uses some of the Legend uh, assets, normally, uh, notably, the Lara Croft model herself. She's from Tomb Raider Legend. This is made for consistency. Of the franchise and um, they also use a lot of the angel of darkness assets which is textures models you will see it all over the shop which is you know normal they were making this very quickly as a presentation to showcase so a lot of the stuff you will see today is very unfinished you will see that a lot of the stuff we can't get into without cheating um microphone without cheating and stuff like that so yeah but it is still it is still playable to a sense that we can walk around levels and things like that which is you know important um later on when core design presented it to ida slash square enix they were quite excited about it they said yeah sure we'll do it and then crystal dynamics kind of heard of it and then they presented their own version of the game and kind of and uh square enix and uh, and um square enix slash i just decided to go with that one since you know they kind of already just did the legend might as well do the anniversary as well so this is how anniversary edition has been cancelled now core was not keen to give up so easily so they decided to Reskin Anniversary Edition into an Indiana Jones game called National Treasure. And basically, they started with adding Indiana Jones model, obviously. This has been addressed by Ghostblade, so he replaced Indiana Jones with Lara because Lara was present as well. There, there are like Nazi flags in atlas mines as a nod to indiana jones obviously and stuff like that. so this was supposed to be an indiana jones build and you'll see that from the main menu but then obviously core design was sold and this game was never to be released until now this year celebrates 25th anniversary of tomb raider and i think this is like the best way to celebrate it with an unreleased remake by the original developers of the original Tomb Raider game. This wouldn't be possible without all the community efforts to get the permission, obviously, which we haven't got, but you know, it was still important to ask for it. I posted my explanation about it on Twitter, so please check out Tomb of Ashes Twitter if you're wondering why we needed that permission. 
Uh, this also wouldn't be possible without Tiernan and Nakamichi who worked behind the scenes on making converters or maybe make the game working. Nakamichi managed to create a converter for level geometry. So you guys who work in Unity on Real Engine can port the game to those if you wish, or those of you who work in level editor and want to use textures or maybe models or actually recreate the whole thing in level editor, you can do that now, thanks to Nakamichi. Um, this also, obviously, this stream wouldn't be possible without Ghostblade, who quickly done the patch, uh, which is, you know, great that he knows ins and outs of the free running engine. I actually sent him some of the converter files ages ago to help him research free running engine. And I'm so glad I did because he managed to um, make it playable so quickly. So this is me saying thank you. Right. So. First of all, uh, you want to go to tri.tumbofarge.com. This is the link. This is where we will be hosting everything related to Tomb Raider Universe Edition. Uh, this includes the archive.org links, group links, where we do all our research on this. The link on the archive.org, you will find four archives. So let me share my screen and explain to you what the hell I'm talking about. So there you go. These are, this is the archive.org page. They are DMCA exempt. So technically they can, this is what we use to publish the uh, anniversary edition files. In here, you will, you will have, um, you can download them by zip files or you can download them via torrenting. This is legal torrenting because you're actually downloading the files hosted here, not, not nothing illegal. In here, you will have four zip archive. So Artbase is the one you definitely need. This is the one that includes all the levels, everything like textures, converters, everything. Even if you don't want to like play around with models and stuff like that, you still need this file to play it. So you are downloading that. TRE Playable Patch and TRE Playable Patch 2. These two patches are from Ghostblade. So the first one will allow you to play pretty much all the levels. The second one will allow you to play Lara's Manor. And I will show you how to make them work in a second. Levels January 2006. This is something you don't necessarily need right now. These are level files dated January 2006. They could be exactly the same files we already have. Or there could be earlier versions of, of these without like Indiana Jones skinage applied to them. Or they could be something later. They could be more finished. They could be more refined. Or they could be exactly the same. We just don't know yet. And, but I thought for the sake of archiving, it's important to preserve them and upload them. So this is just there for the archive purposes. You don't necessarily need that. When you download artbase.zip, and TRA Playable Patch and TRA Playable Patch 2, what you need to do is you need to extract Artbase folder onto your C drive. So when you extract that, you must ensure that you have the file structure like that here. So it's C, Artbase, and then you have Tomb Raider build, yada, yada, not Artbase, and then you'll see Artbase here again. Make sure you don't extract it in like separate folder and stuff like that. So make sure this file structure is exactly like this. Artbase, Tomb Raider. This is the best way to see that. So once you've done that, you want to download uh, and you downloaded the patches from um, Ghostblade. So those patches you want to extract somewhere else for the, for now. You don't want to overwrite anything just yet. So just extract them somewhere else. For for me, it's on D drive. So here's my Ghostblade patch folder. So I just opened this as in a separate window art base just for the sake of convenience. So this is the your uh, folder with Ghostblade Ghostblade patch. In here, you definitely want to copy run dot bat into here into your art base folder. So here we go. I have run dot, dot, fa, dot bat in here. This is the one you'll be using to start the game. After you copy this file, you want to go back to this folder and choose which level you actually want to play. This is important because you can't just, you know, play it in linear fashion where you finish level and you can proceed. That's not going to happen. 
So what at this stage anyway, I'm sure Ghostblade is making it all playable with all the bells and whistles and finishing it off with fixing all the crashes and stuff like that. But at this stage, it's early build and you have to play it by the rules of the patch. So you select the level you want to play. In this case, we will choose Lost Valley, for example. You then Select Tomb Raider folder, copy that Tomb Raider folder, go to your art base folder and paste it. When it asks you to replace this, you say yes, replace. Done. You just loaded um, the Lost Valley um, level into, into the game. So now we can run and the game will play. You might receive various errors. For example, you might receive DLL error. If that happens, make sure you install Visual Studio from Microsoft website. It is free to install it. So just go and Google Visual Studio Microsoft. You will get here. You will get to here. So make sure to download, I don't know, like Community One, which is a free. Yeah, download, install, restart PC and try again. If you still get DLL errors, those DLL that are missing should be present somewhere in converters folder. So just search for them and place them um, into your windows. If you Google how to load DLLs, there are plenty of tutorials. But, but nine out of 10 cases, installing Visual Studio and restarting your PC will help. We've done all that. We copied the, the Tomb Raider folder from the Lost Valley into this and we overwrit overwrit the files. Next, you want to use a controller. I use Xbox controller and it's wireless. So this means I need to turn it on first before I launch the game. If I launch the game and then turn it on, it's not gonna work. So you must ensure it's you know plugged in and stuff like that. If you have wired controller, you're sorted as long as it's plugged in. Uh, D64 controller also works. Core design confirmed that as in core design, Twitter account, not the core design company. Do not use keyboard. I mean, you can use keyboard, but it will only allow you to control the camera and Lara's movement. You will not be able to jump and do anything else. So anyway, once we've done all the stuff I just asked, um, just click run. And there we are. If this appears, press cancel and it should just work. Then we just continue the, the game. And we have Lara. Uh, I actually haven't played this level yet. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe this is actually happening. Um, now, to swim, we use... Oh, that's interesting because remember in trailer, they had like Lara was swimming like a dolphin or something. Whoa, 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 whoa. She's having hysterics. But no, she's actually swimming all right in this one. So that's good. Come on, get up. Oh, this is so... Oh, what's going on? It's like... Well, it will be very... Okay, it, it is bugging out. <laughs> it's like unlimited... Unlimited jumping around. Sometimes picking up the objects... Uh, picking up objects does not work for me. It crashes the game for some reason. Also, opening menu does as well. I'm not sure... Oh! It worked this time. Can I open the menu? Oh, I can. No, I, oh, I can actually. I could open the menu this time around. That's great. Right. So I showed you how to, how do you fucking, oh, there you go. There you go. Dolphin. Dolphin. Okay. So dolphin is like her sprinting swimming, which is when you press action. Yesterday, when I literally done this, like, I got all emotional. Oh, I actually got no theory. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. I can't believe I'm crying over a fucking game. Ah, oh, I'm an emotional mess. I can't believe this is actually here. Like, like, you know, it's a small thing, but this animation is present and it's everything for me. Like, having Lara do her original. Oh, okay. Uh. Ham and Lara doing her original jumps is a big deal. It's, 
Yeah, I just remember how ex- excited I was in 2006 when the trailer got leaked and then everything got banned. And yeah, it's overwhelming, this man. <laughs> We're going to start with Lara's gym, actually. Lara's home. Let's go to the manor. I played it a little bit. Um, it's very unfinished. All the textures there are from... Um, Tomb Raider 1 and 2, I think. So, Lara's Manor. There we are. Look how pretty. Look how fucking pretty that. She did not age very well, this model, I think. Uh, but the actual, like, gaming environments, they could look like nice, pretty indie game these days. Some of the assets from Tomb Raider 2, I see those flower pots. The god rays are clearly fake ones. They are like static, but they still look nice. I think the light the core design could do lighting. Literally, if they these guys could do anything, it's the lighting. They they were fantastic in lighting. I can't believe she's doing that. You know, I still like in like in in state of shock that she can do that. Uh, there's the music room. Uh, this is not a PS version as as i understand this is a pc port of it but it is a lot of the assets are from the psp version yeah i'm not sure why the pc model is not loading but we, we don't know we there's a lot of things to uncover i think it's not the grid engine no it's not yeah it, it doesn't look like it's um grid because they did plan it to be a grid engine you can read the whole uh, design documents on our website on tumbofage.com like what this was supposed to be and stuff like that. Oh my god, I made it! She's talking. Telling me something. What to do. I can't hear anything. I don't think there is audio here present. I don't know if I can get out. Oh, I am fucking screaming inside. They used the Angel of Darkness assets here so you can see the Xuritatis stuff. We so great that she's immortal. This way up. A lot of this has been reused in free running. I believe this uh, training area it does appear in free running. You know, if I will hear the Angel of Darkness theme tune in here right now, I will literally break down and cry. <laughs> I'm like at the edge. Look at the shader they use on it. Wee. I reckon the torch is not just for Lara. I reckon it was for Indiana Jones. This is why you're seeing weird animation because this was not supposed to be done in, with Lara. They were already in the process of removing her completely. So I think they were replacing dual pistols with the torch and adding whip and stuff like that. Okay, so this is sums up Lara's manner pretty much in here. Not much you can actually do. It's quite short and unfinished, but you know it is here. It's up to us now to to make it complete. So first up here is to make the build playable, which we have done. Next bit, next bit is to you know finish it um, using design documents and things like that. Anyway, so this is Lara's gym, uh, Lara's home rather. We're gonna play caves now. The doors are all sealed. There's no way back. Now, if you read any of the design documents from Rich Morton, you will see that his idea of, you know, Lara investigating hieroglyphics, scripts and stuff like that found in the game scripture and uh, that kind of stuff documents this has been already implemented in the anniversary edition those who pass this seal will not return you know yesterday I was like where the fuck do I go and uh, because I completely like, you know, I know this anniversary edition and I kind of need to know that this is, you know, this is Tomb Raider 1. You know Tomb Raider 1. You just go here and then you go to the left up this ledge and then there is a secret in here. It, 
this is this looks so different in terms of atmosphere and stuff like that. I completely was bamboozled. I was not sure where to go. And this is great because, you know, when people always say, oh, we don't want an exact copy of things. This is kind of a copy. They use the original geometry and build upon it. You can see that from the extracted levels. There is original geometry present in certain areas. But this looks so different that at the same time, it completely like confused me, which is, you know, great. Like there's a secret here. In the original game, you will like slide down here and then you can jump and then you collect the secret over there, which we're not going to do because it will crush the game collecting that magic pack. I like the snow. It's so atmospheric. It just... Oh, core design. Where the fuck are you? Come back. Come back. It is very beautiful. It's very, very, very atmospheric. I think it aged okay, actually. You know, I saw much worse games of the same age. This ancient lever still appears to work. Look how different this area looks. Oh, I just noticed. Let, let me put her in a corner. Look, she's cold. She has like a steam coming out of her mouth. We should look at this as a technical build. There is no gameplay per se. You are just observing the areas and stuff like that because it's, it needs to be finished by us. Huh. This must have been some kind of loading dock. I can look at that. Just <sighs> look at the lighting on below. It's a fog as well. Look how pretty that is. Oh, this is just overwhelming. <laughs> this just looks. I I want to stay here. Like literally, look at that. This is this is gorgeous. This is just. Ah, core design. You could do your shit well. You made us proud. Yeah, there's everything. They, the, the, they literally pushed PSP, I think, to the limit in this one. I, I just love the particle effect on the snow. It's very lovely. It's like so subtle, but it's there. I have played... Uh, Tomb Raider anniversary on PSP and character wise Lara does look better but environments no they, they are even duller than they are in the PC version and I think PC version is quite dull and boring in terms of coloring there we go come on that was tricky save crystal not gonna trigger it because just in case it will crash the game, I can't be bothered with restarting it. <laughs> Don't want to. Uh, let's just carry on. Light, Aziz, light. Look how pretty the light. Or <laughs> design, you could do the light. If there's something you could definitely do, it's the light. Right, this is where I came from. So it doesn't matter which team you had, you always could do spectacular lighting. I like those traps. They they look very cool. They're like very movable and animated. It's great. Do you get that a lot? We fuck off traps. I'm a mortal woman in England, as in in Peru. You have reached the end of the first level of Tomb Raider 10th Anniversary Edition. All 15 levels of the original game are currently moving towards completion, and this demo provides a taste of what the finished product will look and play like. Core Design 2006. Right, this was the caves. We're going to play n something next. I think we should try to play um, 
one level from each area. In this case, I think we should go and play... Should I play Lost Valley, actually? You know what? No, Lost Valley is quite a um, big deal. So let's play Lost Valley. Kind of feel disturbed by having Nicolas Cage in Tomb Raider game. <laughs> now this waterfall, I think, looks spectacular. I've seen it on screenshots and stuff, but it's just, look at that. It's fantastic, beautiful, so beautiful. Yes, there is like some geometry issues here and there, but it just, it's just very, very atmospheric. I like the occasional like um leaks like this. And you can see that the water is spread on the ground. Look like minor details like that. They make everything. You, they could have added a bit more splashes, I suppose. I was saying that I like the details of the uh, of, of those uh, leaky waters in here just so showing the um the kind of running down of the place, you know, like it's all in ruins and stuff, but also how like detailed the water is actually on the ground coming from the top. Um, missing a bit of splashes, I think, but otherwise very well detailed. I'm a, I'm a bit confused where to go, which is weird because this is the Lost Valley. I should know all the ins and outs. I'm glad there is no like um, endurance stamina kind of bar. I feel stronger now. Don't want to pick anything up, just in case. <gasps> Look at a volcano over there. The T-Rex should be appearing here. Whee. This is spectacular. Look at that. So gorgeous. I want to see volcano. <laughs> Don't care about anything else. T-Rex model is present in the game. So if someone will want to rip it in and place it playable, they can do that. But look at the volcano. So pretty. Right, I'm going to play next. I'm going to play Tomb of Colapex since that one has sound. I, I really want to play Lost Valley because of this area, effectively. Look how, like, it hits the sky and everything. The The... the the ash. They kept Shelly's voice in here, obviously as a placeholder for now. And they kept the landing sounds that's took from the original game, but the steps are new. You can save the game. Is it gonna crash? Is it gonna crash? No, it's not. Okay, good. Let's select any one. I like the ambient, like, water drops. Can you hear that? Ah, oh, so nice. Okay, let's see inventory. Can't rotate, but okay. Oh, my camera even froze for the excitement. I don't think I can get there, can I? Oh, boulder, no! <laughs> There's Kion, yeah. TNT. There's Kion. Obviously from Terminator 1. It's Qualapec. 
not sure what the TNT is all about, but okay. Hey, qualified. <laughs> oh, this is incredible. Oh, that's interesting. This area appears just fine when you go... It seems like normal issue or something in here. Because I do remember it appears just fine in the um, in 3D modeling model of it. Ah, okay. That just oh, <laughs> we <laughs> well that crashed my stream. Right, let's select different level. This is San Francis Folly. I want to use a keyboard controls for this to have a look properly. Now, these textures are from Angel of Darkness. Uh, the central area in the original game obviously was squarish, kind of rectangular. In this game, they kind of made it more circular and show way more wear and tear on it with the crashing. Okay, so let's attempt the jumping. Jumping is a bit weird because this is not a grid system as they did plan though, but they use the normal kind of more like non-linear system of controls and with the butchered controls, it's a bit difficult. Look at that. Ooh, the door. Can I just... Sorry, door. Can I just pa go past you? No? No? I can't open you either. Oh, you rude door. Should I try using editor to remove that fucking door? That oh! The game glitched. <laughs> she, she just teleported me here. She's underwater area, no? Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. Fine with that. <laughs> Progress going somewhere, I suppose. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, that was interesting experience. <laughs> Luna C twelve. Um, yeah, lots of this has been ported from Tomato One. If you look at the screenshot we published ages ago on Tumba Fash, you can see that there is actually original Tomb Raider 1 geometry present in most of the levels. What they did is they used it as a inspiration and then they built upon it all these new areas. Look at those lion cows. <laughs> they do look like cows. Moo. Uh, so they used it as heavy inspiration. The Tomb Raider 1, and they just build upon the geometry. Oh, her hand is stuck now. Her hand is stuck. She's like Johnny Silverhand. <laughs> okay, let's try fly mode. Charges. Nope. Pew, 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 pew. I'm shooting. A lot of textures. I think these are from the uh, original game now. I think the water is definitely. Right. Since I can't really do much, I'm going to exit this level and going to go to a different one. <gasps> Pterodactyl. See, there's pterodactyl over there, flying. There's pterodactyl in that area over there. Ooh, giant thingy, dragonfly. <laughs> Hello. There's pterodactyl. I'm gonna shoot you with my torch. There he is. 
pterodactyling around. Like it's 1997. Wah! Race. Is that from Angel of Darkness too? It looks like it. Oh, it does this inverted thingy for weird people. Ooh. What is this? Oh, that's the cog you use for the puzzle. I can't open inventory. Like, you can't move still. Still broken. Right, we're gonna go to a different level now. <clears throat> and my camera froze with a very pretty face and so beautiful. Please post all your findings in our Facebook group. If you go to tri.timbofage.com, the link is in there. Oh, dinosaurs. Oh, it's a rat. Okay. Big rat. Looks like my ex. Is this is what you meant? Gaming virtual about moving block, just action and forward? And then you just. <laughs> Oh, okay. I like the fog, like the dust, dust layer, how dusty this level is. It's great. Okay, let's remove that. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on, door. Come on, door. There you go, fuck off, door. Uh huh. That didn't help. I will try removing this floor here. That might help. Okay. Play. Yay. There we go. There we go. Well done, Cloud Aloft. Oh. oh my God. I'm freaking out. Camera control. If you press F7, you can literally select any object. So you press edit in there in F7, and you can select any object and move it around. This is how I've done it. I can't believe if I can play again. <laughs> it's just weird. This is so weird. I can't believe I'm playing it, guys. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. I will switch to another level. We are going to Egypt. We will play the Obelisk of Kamun, which is the name of my computer. Oh, I like those. I like how that one is like beheaded. And the head is like next to it. Atmosphere. They look like the ones I have actually in my computer. Like I have inside of my case. Very atmospheric, the light, no? It's like... <laughs> Wink. Okay. This looks like a very finished level, more or less, compared to others. I think Cistern and this one are the most finished so far. I like the texture work on here. Very nice. I think people should not treat this as the game. I think people should treat this as the ar like artifact of uh, of the lost era of the game, what could have been. Can I just can I just squeeze? Yeah, there he is. I seen it in the renders that I made. Like it looks very pretty. See the cogs again here. Those are placeholders, obviously, for other artifacts. how big it is what he said um gods here horus so back is it so back not so back it's the bull and then uh, who's the bull i can't can't remember anubis and set This is this is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. This is just I like that light coming through the top. You can actually get out there and see what No. Okay, but it's just the, the 
texture work, the lightning work is just like light, 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 lighting work, not like lightning. <laughs> I can't English today. It, it's spectacular, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. You guys done fantastic job. If you will ever be watching this video, we'll love you for design. This is my t-shirt in the tribute for you. I like the details on the textures of the, the obelisk. They're so tiny, those, you know, those hieroglyphics, but you can actually make out them and like read them. I don't think they're like real hieroglyphics, as in, I don't think they mean anything. But the fact that they're so detailed for a PSP game and for 2006 game, that kind of level of details is amazing. Right. I will try again to normally get out of water. To normally get out, you just hold the action button. And she should technically get out, but she's not. So we're gonna use the flight mode, which Elon has discovered by holding select start X and Y and Xbox controller. Hello, cows slash lions. Select start. Oh, I can't disable it, it seems. Oh, if you press hold select start, she kind of goes up. Oh, there you go. She can you can fly through objects if you hold. Select starts. I just love that it's in full screen now. It's so much better, so much more. I actually feel more involved in it now because it, before it was like just a tiny window. Okay. Coliseum seems like it has been ripped directly from PS, uh, PS1. Uh, the, from the Tomb Raider 1, sorry. Mm, let's go to Natalie's Mine since it has audio. There are Nazi sim, sim, uh, symbols in here. This is because this was obviously been converted for um, Indiana Jones build. Actually, this is not going to be my last level. I want to take you to another one where I want to show you some Angel of Darkness assets. So the model is actually static. It's the textures that move on it. This video will be banned in Germany, I believe. <laughs> uh, uh, right. I'm gonna go to the not to the different level. I'm gonna go. This will be my last one now. Du -du -du -du, du -du -du, and it does not load. Now Atlantis geometry you can see in Nakamichi's with using Nakamichi's converter. So the the geometry is there. Just needs placing somewhere. Um, this is where you fight Steve of Wars look alike. Okay, there you go. Fly, fly. And that crashed the game. <laughs> so I can't really show you much. This is the end of my stream. It's here, guys. I can't believe it. I mean, we have to make the reverse edition. It's 25 years of Tomb Raider in 2021 and you know kind of good present we did had core designs panel at the expo in for the 20 years of Tomb Raider in 2016 in 2016 and now we have this for the 20th year and since we can't really have a panel because of the COVID-19 so I think I think I'm doing a good job <laughs> Spoiling you all and myself. Ah, thank you, Ghostblade, for making it possible. I don't know what to say. I, I have so many emotions. This entire day I was just pure on in the anniversary edition mode. So was that enough. Yo, man, exploration, I'm wiping. <laughs>